We're here after the conclusion of another great USF win, a 3-2 victory here in the first game of this three-game West Coast Conference set. And let's start first with head coach Nino Giratano. Coach G, you know, a, a great comeback win today. Obviously, the offense didn't necessarily get it going until a little later, but what can you tell us about your team's ability to come back today? I thought it was great. You know, obviously, we, we had grinded away at it, and we couldn't get that big base hit. But yeah, Kyle was great. You know, the, the home run in the first, two bad pitches is about all he made uh, on the day. And I, I was really excited about that because when we started putting up zeros, I knew those two pitches weren't going to make the difference. And I knew we would put a good swing on it. And, you know, obviously, with two outs, a little bit of magic, a base hit and then a hit by pitch. And then Pete drives the ball out of the ballpark to give us the win. And, uh, you know, the bullpen was great. Zim was great. Uh, I just thought all together today, you know, it was down to one pitch, and we won that one pitch. Let's talk about the offense first here. Pete Levine, the big hit today, obviously, the three-run homer with two outs. Just take us through that at bat and, and what what was going through your mind after you connected with that pitch. Uh, well, you know, after BP, everyone was making fun of Big Pete because, you know, he didn't hit one out. <laughs> so before I set the box, I was like, you know, Big Pete got to make some magic. So, you know. <laughs> Threw it in Big Pete's happy zone, and God, just, Big Pete swung as hard as he can, and it went out. <laughs> Big Pete. No, but, but seriously, uh, you know, he, he was flipping me the curveball all day. Uh, I was seeing it really well. I was just out in front a little bit. And then, you know, that one just hung over the middle of the plate. And, you know, this whole week I was working on staying inside the ball. And, you know, I think that, that really helped. And then, you know, Zim just gave up two runs in the first and then shut him down after that. And then Reamer came in to, to close the door, and it was a good win for us. Let's talk with Jordan Reamer first. Reamer, you finished the game on the mound. The fans might have been expecting a, another wild one from you, and it wasn't that today. Two strikeouts, and you looked great on the mound today. Just tell us about your stuff out there. Well, I spent all week just working on trying to stay simple and, you know, stay in the middle of the plate, attack the middle, and, uh, and trusting my stuff. You know, I've been over, I feel like I've been overthrowing lately and just trying to be too fine. And so today I just, you know, took a step back, tried to have some fun and uh, stay simple and it worked out. You know, the stuff was there and, it, you know, it just it worked out great today. Next question for our Papalote player of the game, Kyle Zimmer. Zim, you pick up that win, a big win. And, you know, the question for you, obviously today, not a day that you had initially planned on starting. How big was it for you to have a quality start for your team not having Matt Lujan? Yeah, not losing Matt is big, big loss. You can't really replace him. Great pitcher, great guy, great competitor. But um, I knew just we team needed to stay the course. Um, I just knew I needed to go out there and make pitches and try to guess, guess the number one win in the series. Um, really just tried to go out there and attack um, my fastball, my off speed. Curveball felt pretty good today, throwing that for strikes. And so uh, after that first inning, they got got put a good swing on a ball I left up. But I knew I just had to separate and stay in the stay in the present moment, move inning by inning, and. Um, try to get some zeros because I knew if I if I did that, Big Pete would eventually get one in his happy zone. Get out of there. All right. Congratulations and good luck the rest of the way through this series.